No, I sure. Oh my god. Oh. Good morning, Saw City. These are your daily announcements for January, Wednesday, 23rd, 2007. I'm Nikki, and this is Lefe. CSF meetings, CSF applications are now available for Ms. Milani in C3, Ms. Bella in the LIC, or Ms. Chin in A5. Completed applications and report cards are due to Mr. Chin in A5 no later than Tuesday, January 29th at 3.15 p.m. Seniors, don't forget the ball committee meets Friday at lunch in E2. It will be every Friday. Please be there to help make ball a success. Don't forget, it's the best dance of the year. Please join us in E3 on Thursdays during lunch for the Latin Christian Club. Do you think you are strong? Come out to the class at lunch on Friday, January 25th to the weightlifting contest. Come see if you can beat some of your favorite teachers. Remember, weightlifting contest, lunch, quad, Friday 25th. Greetings from the library. We had some issues with two major kinds of document file that the computer cannot translate. Number one, if you have a new computer with the Windows Vista and Microsoft Word 2007 and you want to be able to work on your document at school, you need to save your documents to be the compatible for Microsoft Word. The file <laughs> should be doc.docx if you need help with it. Please see Ms. Mitchell before your paper is due. It looks like the word, but Computers won't read it out because of the WPS file extension. Again, you need to save your documents to be compatible with Microsoft Word 97003. File with an extension doc, not WPS. For both issues, click on File, then Save As. Then find Save As type box under the file name. Click on the arrow and find the word 970003. File type in the doc extension. Please see Ms. Mitchell if you have any questions. Seniors, still interested in applying to California State University? You still have a little time left. Admissions for some majors and some campuses are open until Friday, February 1st. You may apply on the CSU Mentor website. See Ms. Bella if you need help or more information. Seniors, if you are planning to attend a community college, four-year college, uni university, trade, or vocational school, it is important that you attend the FAFSA workshop. You and your parents are in invited to the first workshop on Tuesday, January 29th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. at the Little Theater at El Camino High School. Get step-by-step -step information on filling out the FAFSA application. Remember, you and one parent need to apply for a PIN application are due by March 2nd. Have you checked out the later scholarship yet? Ooh, yet? <laughs> there, are any main, there are many new scholarships for seniors. This is free money to help you pay for college. Complete the application, write an essay, receive money. It's, it's that easy, and there is help for you to complete the application. Juniors of Filipino heritage apply for a scholarship to pay for an SAT prep course. Skateboarders, there is a $1,000 scholarship that you can apply for. Check out the events and program list for summer programs offered by many colleges. <laughs> Pick up your coffee at the Kira Center, Mrs. Belli. Congratulations to our December, January Outstanding Warriors. TJ Susi for helping our campus clean. TJ is always helping clean up the mess left on the tables and ground after lunch. Thank you for your help, TJ. Your effort to keep our campus clean is appreciated. Our second outstanding warrior is Mr. Hill. He was nominated for his help to our students and faculty when we have a car when we have car problems. He also went above and beyond in helping a faculty member over the winter break. Your kindness and generosity are graded, are greatly appreciated by everyone. Thank you. Attention all students, we will have our first Senate meeting of the year this Thursday, January 24th in the LIC during third period. Please report to the LIC after meeting period. Remember, Senate meeting this Thursday during third period in the LIC. See you there. Attention summer search nominees. Applications are due this Thursday, January 24th. Bring them to Ms. Booker and S11. The Drama Department presents Snow White on Thursday, January 24th at 4 o'clock. Donations requested to a non-Disney show. And now, and now here's, here's a, a segment, segment on, on the cheerleading. cheerleading. Who? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Priscilla Chin reporting for the South City Source. I have here the coach of the cheerleading squad, Janine Mitchell. So Janine, is cheerleading a real sport? 
Yes, cheerleading is a real sport, especially here at South City. Our team works year-round. Uh, we get a very quick break when school ends. We get two weeks off, and we practice year-round, and they train really hard, just as hard as any team here on campus does. Uh, they cheer for games as well as compete, so I definitely think that cheerleading is a sport, especially here at South City. Thank you. Here I have with me two returning girls from last year's squad, Christina Lefe and Nicole Duff. So you guys, how do you like cheerleading so far? So far it's been a good experience. The girls have really improved from the beginning of the year and we learned how to bond and it's been fun. So it's been good. And you? Yeah, we improved so much since the beginning of summer, just stunts, jumps, and everything. And I feel like this year is going to be a good year for all of us. There you have it, South City. Is cheerleading a real sport? Most definitely, yes. See for yourself. Wow, that was a good segment. Yeah, cheerleading is really fun, guys. Heck yeah. Heck to the yeah. Help support your cheerleading team. Eat at Chevy's this Thursday, January 24th at 4 p.m. And part of the profits will go to the team. Please see a cheerleader for a flyer or pick up one in the main office. The Earth Club will meet today in room D25 at lunch. The rescheduled meeting is mandatory for any members planning on attending the teach-in at South San Francisco State University. Be green, keep our cl planet clean. <laughs> Dream Team, <laughs> be today, Wednesday, <laughs> these seven. Please be prompt. Today's word of the day is appropriate. It is an adjective, and the definition is correct or suitable for a particular <laughs> time, situation, or purpose. For example, it would not be appropriate for me to discuss that now. And please stand for your pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, <laughs> indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> These have been your daily announcements. I'm Lepe and this is Nick. Bye, bye. <laughs> oh, my God.